Hi, friend. We are so excited that you're here because today we're talking all about eruptions. One, two, three. I've invited a very special guest scientist and artist into the backyard with me. It is Dex. Are you excited to make some explosions with me? Awesome. The first thing we're gonna do is to play with baking soda and vinegar. These are two things that when you put them together, they have a reaction and they Explode. <laughs> Explode. So the first thing we're gonna do together, Dax, is to build a volcano. Ooh. Yeah. So this, this little cylinder is gonna be the very middle of our volcano. So we'll end up putting our experiment right in there, but we're gonna build an artistic volcano all the way around, okay? And I got some little clippings from our pine tree to add. We can make like a forest, and some make river rocks, like and some, some sand. Some river rocks? Mm -hmm. Those look like our fire pit rocks. They are our fire pit rocks. And those are called lava rocks. Lava. Makes sense, because we're making a volcano. See all those holes they have? Well, how did the lava I think that this was once hot lava, and then when it cooled down, this is the rock that it became. Mm. And I thought maybe we would want to put like a cat mm. or a cat-sized rooster. What do you think? Yes, yes, very good. Okay, Dax, take this spoon and scoop up, this is baking soda, and put it right in the- Like we, I, we. Oh, put it right in the cylinder. That's okay. Mm-hmm, wanna put a little bit more? Ooh, it kind of looks like snow on our volcano. Yeah, that could be snow. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we need to mix up our lava. What color should the lava be? Orange? Okay, stick here. I'll go get some orange food coloring. We're going to dye our vinegar the color that we want our lava to be. Mm -hmm. Orange. Yeah, okay. Dax, mix it up for us. I'm gonna use the end of the spoon too. We'll both mix. Vinegar smells icky. Now, Dax, I want you to fill up the pipette. Can you tell our friend how to fill up a pipette? You squeeze the end and then you let it go, yep. And then put it right in our volcano. <gasps> Lava! Whoa, it's erupting! I'm glad it's not getting on our rooster or our cat. Friend, what do you think would happen if we just poured some of this straight in there? Do you think it would be wild? Yeah. All right, let's try it. Whoa! It's gonna get on our cat. Oh no! Chicken cat, are you okay? Wah! This is a very active volcano. Dax, you ready to switch it up? Mm -hmm. We're gonna pour a little bit of vinegar in each one of these cups. Cool. All right, mix those up for me, Dax. Ooh, <laughs> Baking soda and vinegar are called reactants. Ooh. And 
The foam that's created when we combine them is called a product. This is a really fun and cool way that you can experiment with mixing colors. Dax has red, blue, and yellow. Those are the primary colors. And when we mix them together, we can make secondary colors like orange, purple, and green. And from there, we can make all the colors. Dax, are you ready to mix some crazy fizzy colors with me? Yeah. All right. Let's take these out. Okay. is in those bubbles. What's in those bubbles is called carbon dioxide, and it's the gas that is created when we put the vinegar and the baking soda together. When we put them together, the gas is created, and it just like, it has to go somewhere. Do you ever feel like this? Do you ever feel like this? Like, all your energy, it just needs to come out. Do you ever feel like that? Yeah, I think you do too. I do. That's kind of what this chemical reaction is. All that gas has to go somewhere. Do you think we can make orange? Mm hmm. Mmm, stir it up, stir it up. Can we get a good orange? Do you want to do an experiment where we can kind of see the effect of the gas that's made with vinegar and baking soda? I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler. There is an explosion involved. You want to do it? Mm-hmm. You want to do it? For this experiment, we're going to put in two tablespoons of baking soda and a half cup of vinegar in this plastic bag. Then we're going to seal it up. What do you think will happen when all of the gas forms from the baking soda and vinegar reaction? Where's my helper? Dax! Oh. <laughs> There he is. The first thing we need to do is take a little bit of tissue. And Dax, we need two tablespoons. This is a cup. This is a half cup. We need this one. I need two level tablespoons right in the middle. Fill it all the way up. Shake it flat. Shake, 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 shake. Put it right in the middle. Awesome. One more. Fill it all the way up. Shake, shake, shake. Right in the middle. Perfect. We're gonna put that, that aside. Me. It does. Put that aside. Now we're gonna fill up a half cup of vinegar. You wanna try to pour that in? Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Fill it all the way to the top. And bloop! Oh, good filling up. I didn't even spill it. Not even a drop. I'll pour it because it's so full. We're gonna make a little baking soda envelope. All right. Now, I'm gonna be so fast. Okay. I'm gonna drop this baking soda in. It's gonna go into the vinegar. It's going to cause a reaction. Drop. Sure. It's gonna cause a react. Don't do it yet. It's gonna cause a reaction where gas forms and we're gonna seal this up. The gas is gonna have nowhere to go and we're gonna see what happens. All right, Dax. One, two, three, go. Seal it up as fast as you can. The gas is filling up the bag. The gas is filling up the bag. What do you think? Good. Were you not expecting that? Our next explosion is elephant toothpaste. Dax! Dax! I need some help here! Hash Brown! Oh, Hash Brown's down here! I'm gonna start with a half cup of hydrogen peroxide in a clean water bottle, and Dax is going to add some drops of food coloring. Whoa! Whoa! You think we need that much? Ooh. Perfect. Now we're gonna add about a tablespoon of dish soap. This goes well with our blue food coloring too, doesn't it? Elephant toothpaste, elephant toothpaste. Hey, is elephant toothpaste for elephant elephants to brush their teeth? I have three tablespoons of warm water, and Dax is going to add in one tablespoon of active yeast. All of it right in there. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. <gasps> That's amazing. 
What does it feel like? It feels really hot. It feels really hot. That's part of this chemical reaction. It just keeps going and going. It's kind of like it's making it's forming a mountain. It does look like a mountain. It reminds me of the volcano we made earlier. That is an amazing chemical reaction and an amazing eruption. Next up for our explosion, we're going to make another cool piece of lava art. Dax! Dax! He's always <laughs> hiding. <laughs> Dax, can you pour this red water into the bottom of this jar? Mm -hmm. That's good. Now, this is oil, and water and oil do not mix together. So we're gonna see that. When we pour it in, they're gonna separate. So fill it up almost all the rest of the way with oil. So we see the bubbles sinking because of gravity. What's gravity? Yeah. Gravity will pull you back to planet Earth. So we're gonna do a magical trick here with a chemical reaction. We're gonna use these effervescent tablets and when they hit the water, there's gonna be gas that forms and the gas is gonna push the bubbles of water up, 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 up through the oil. And then move around. And then the molecules will move around. Absolutely. And start making the bubble move around. All right, do it. <gasps> Whoa, it's getting wild. It's getting wild. <gasps> wow. Gas is pushing those bubbles, those pockets of dye red water up, 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 up through the oil. So cool. If you want to make more projects, more art, more science with us, just search for Kylie Makes It. And the X, that's me. <laughs> K-Y-L-E-E, -E, that's me. See you next time. <laughs>